so we're in the Badge Operations Center at EMF 2018, and today we're handing out the Total Mark Delta badges. This year's badge is a GSM phone. We've built an entire phone on our badge this year. Uh, we've deployed a, our own GSM network across the site. Um, so you've got a badge running MicroPython with Wi-Fi, GSM phone, and Bluetooth uh, headset compatibility, so you can use connect Bluetooth headsets to it and make phone calls between badges. We think this is the first conference badge, GSM phone, that's been deployed. We've spent the last six months, two years, building this thing. It's been very late, and a lot of it's been done in here at the festival, finishing off, soldering antennas, flashing firmwares, writing code up until the last minute, and we're finally handing it out to attendees today. And we're hoping everyone can sit and write apps. It's an evolution of the badge from two years ago, Tilda Mark Pi, which had the MicroPython and the Wi-Fi, so we added the GSM on top. You take a CPU, you take a Wi-Fi chip, and you take a phone module, and you think, oh yeah, we'll just put this on the board. And then you start adding buttons and screens and sensors, and um, the, the main processor on this badge has 128 pins. We've used all of them, plus a 16-pin port expander to interconnect everything and get them all talking together. Um, and there's been a lot of guys working on code. We've, we've, we've done a fresh port of MicroPython to TI's latest MSP432E uh, MCU, um, and TI are releasing that, and our version of, on top of that with the tilde board it should be released, and hopefully some of it will get pushed back to MicroPython's main repository. And yes, making the first phone call a couple of months ago to John T was, uh, was like, hello, I'm calling you from a badge. And we finally had the first badge-to-badge -badge phone call yesterday morning. Did you show us that now? Is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, because I haven't played a lot with the software as the PCB designer. You, you've got a full menu, Let's see if we can find the phone number. I believe, no. How would they work? I mean, you, you get a designated phone. And you yes, it's also tied, it's tied into our, um, deck, our on-site deck network. So the badges are getting a four or five digit ID, which can be full call from the DEX network. And you should be able to find it in the phone app and make phone calls. And I th believe we can also do outside calls. And they should, uh, incoming, I'm not sure about. Um, we got any ones that will work? Ah, uh, the phone network's down, that's why we've got no. So we've got battery on the back covering up most of the stuff. In the centre is the TI's uh, MSP4332E 43, processor. Um, so the right of that we have 8 megabytes of RAM external, so that we've got a lot of extra RAM to allow the MicroPython apps and the app developers, because you can write your own apps. Uh, I've got a lot of memory to play around with this year. Just to the left here, we have a one megabyte serial flash chip. That's where all the apps are getting stored and saved. In the bottom right-hand corner, is this is the, all the Wi-Fi area. This is their CC3120, which is their latest release of their Wi-Fi chip. Um, <coughs> that's laid out. Um, and over the left-hand side here, we have the SIM800C GSM module, the SIM card, the GSM antenna, which was hand-soldered. We have the speaker, and we have the microphone, and this is the Bluetooth headset antenna. The microphones have a hardware disconnect, so you can turn your microphone off, so you can make sure no one's hacking your badge and, 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 and listening in. Uh, the, the, the processor and the SIM module are both hooked up to the speaker and microphone, so we're hoping someone's gonna be able to do, from the CPU, dial-up modem, over, over the in, in band over the analog um, with PWM signals and then do telex maybe. Um, we have, thanks to Seed Studio who sponsored the PCBs, we have some Grove connectors which connect to Seed Studio's Grove sensor modules. They do a hundred different breakouts of stuff that can plug in. Around the bottom we have some pins broken out with serial ports and I2C and some pins that these are for doing conductive threads and wearable stuff. So sewing LEDs down your lanyard and conductive threads down the lanyard. And again we've got the same pins broken out on headers over here. And then we have USB to plug in for a Python console and a mass storage, access to the mass storage device. Um, and on the front, buttons, lots and lots of buttons. So we have a T9 keypad laid out, joystick, menu, call and end buttons, and then we have two Neo Pixel LEDs, so we've got quite bright torch mode and lots of colours. The previous badge had the same top curve, but was straight across the bottom and the screen was in, in landscape, and we had the menu, the AB and the joystick buttons. So yes, we've grown the board, and we've still got a processor and a Wi-Fi, and we've bolted on the GSM. Uh, the processor itself has changed. We had an STM32 two years ago, 
The Wi-Fi chip is the, is the next generation. We had the CC3100 last year. This time we've got the 3120. We've doubled the battery size um, to allow, to hopefully allow us to um, <coughs> cover the extra power draw from the, from the GSM modem um, and the Wi-Fi run at the same time. Um, and there's a bunch of sensors thrown on there for fun. Uh, we've got temperature and humidity, temperature tucked under there, a hall effect, and there's a uh, lux sensor on the front for light levels. We, when we're developing the badge, we keep everything under wraps up until the last minute. So I think the the announcement that we've built a phone went out like on a, on a blog post last week, um, a week before the event, so that people can start writing apps and coming up with apps ideas. Um, and all the sensors are announced at the same time. But it's still surprising. There is a there's an info booklet that comes with the badge, um, which has got some snippets of Python code to go and test and, and play around with the sensors and get you started. Um, and there's um, some small soldering projects. There's a you can solder an LED and resistor, and so we're doing some soldering workshops here in the tent. This is one of the production panels, and we've had to visual inspect all of these. We've sat and looked at every component. There's about 216 components on the back per badge. There's, there's about 25 on the front and we've had to look over them and find components that have not been placed properly or gone through the oven misaligned or missing components. Um, because with such a tight deadline, our, our assembly sponsor, HCD, were unable, they didn't have the time to do the inspection automatically. So we've done it here on site. So there's two of us have looked at every board. 300 panels, um, about 2,100 individual badges out of 2,500 that we were aiming for, so a lot which is where there's boxes here of boards with pink dots where we've got a fault on there. 90% of them can probably be fixed. Some of them missing components. It depends how hard it is to solder it on. Some of them will be really tiny things. We can fix them if we run low on the handing out. We can start running through and fixing these and some of them we'll just leave and we'll fix after the event. Um, and some of them, if they're really bad, they'll just go in the bin. Um, but yes, we've, we've visually inspect them all. We've then... Um, soldered the GSM antenna on. We've then been flashing the firmware on the GSM module to enable the Bluetooth headsets, because the default firmware doesn't enable the Bluetooth headset uh, ability, so that's took, takes around a minute per badge. So two and a half thousand minutes, it's like 200 hours, it's like five days. So we've had five laptops going at it for a day and a half and got through all of those fantastically. Once we flash the GSM firmware, we then have to flash our firmware onto the MSP432, the MicroPython port, and then it's kitted up into a bag. We have a badge PCB, we have a battery, a badge guide, a screen, a Velcro dot to stick your battery on, a lanyard, and a hologram SIM card. And the attendees get to put it together themselves, um, which saves us a lot of effort, uh, a lot of time uh, that we haven't. And it's a bit of, it's a lot of fun for people to put them together and, um, and then go play. The past three badges, 2014 was Tilda Mar E, which was 2 point something, 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 which is the speed of light constant. 2016 badge is Tilda Mark Pi, because it was our third badge. So that's 3.14159. So under the screen on Tilda Mark Pi, it's Pi to a thousand decimal places. So it's the version number of the it's badge. It's the version number of the badge. This year, uh, we use irrational mathematical constants. Um, and this year it's uh, Tilda Mark Delta, and the constant is 4.6 point so and so. And again, I've got a thousand decimal places. Uh, and this year it's um, found bounds Delta constant which is related to bifurcation, population studies, and chaos theory stuff, and I can't remember the rest of it, but find some math guys, They'll, they can soon fill you in on that one. Yes, lots of numbers stuff on the screen. These boxes make up the 128 pins of the processor and all the interconnects, so these are all, all these connections go to elsewhere. I suppose I cheated or used my, my software skills for, to, to do that. I actually wrote a, a program that converts uh, MIDI files